Hi everybody, welcome to Skyrim Mods Weekly, where I show you some of the mods I've been playing around with this week, so you can understand them better and maybe install them in your game as well. Or try and forget about them forever, because they disturbed you so. But you know what's not disturbing? My Spectre custom mouse pad! Choose your dimensions, upload your own picture, use their cropping tool, and it's that easy. These are easily the highest quality mouse pads in the game. Nothing else compares, nothing else takes up your entire desk and is personalized to you and you can get them for a great price using my code MXR for 15% off there's a link down below all right first up we have a Trump follower called make Trump follow you and Skyrim great again and it was made by someone from Hong Kong Trump is the greatest president since Abraham Lincoln I like Americans a lot very cool very very cool he even created a comic strip regarding a lady with an abnormally large mammarial gland and that's that's what sold me on the mod. I'm a simple man. I see memorial glands and I click like. And so you have a Chinese version that'll turn your Temple of Mara into the Temple of Rectangles and many follower dialogues into rectangles, but it's the only way to get them voiced and that's the version you're gonna wanna get. I will fight for you with every breath in my body and I will never ever let you down. I have never felt more confident in enlisting a follower until now. Now, of course, there's an English version, but he sounds like every other Nord in Skyrim. Let's not waste any time. And that's just not immersive. Fortunately, he stand alone, so you can have two Trumps at the same time. Essentially, every liberal's nightmare come true. His lines are mostly highly unimmersive. When was the last time you saw a Chevrolet in Tokyo. But there's something hilarious about just wandering Skyrim and having Trump blurt out the fact that he would date his daughter if he had the chance. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. He happily obliges when you need him to do something. Yes. And even compliments you. You have been amazing, thank you. Just d don't tell him to wait. You're a loser. If I were running The View, I'd fire Rosie. I mean, I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. I'd say, Rosie. You're a loser. But perhaps his best lines are in combat. They are not our friend, believe me. And if you listen carefully, I'm pretty sure he's calling everybody a pussy. He's a pussy. Not to mention the constant reminders that he's rich. I'm really rich. And that he's gonna make America great again. We will make America safe again. Not to mention, this is pretty much undeniably the most accurate facial recreation ever made in Skyrim. It honestly looks like you're seeing President Trump in Skyrim. Even his hair is transparent. That is intentional. That's not even a bug. Look at his screenshots. It's still translucent. Overall, if you're trying to make Skyrim great again, you're not gonna get it from SkyUI, CBBE, or the thousands of other great mods out there, you're gonna get it from this mod and Trump. I can confirm my Skyrim is great again. Next up we have a character creation overhaul called Charmers of the Reach. And this mod adds new races that are basically the vanilla race but with more sliders. Not to mention a better model and textures. Personally, I felt like the Nord was actually a male pretending to be a female. I mean, look at that jawline of the gods. So I personally went with his Breton, gave her a nice proper chaos hairdo, went through the eye selections, the nose selections, the lip selections, and what I found was that it was pretty much impossible to create an unattractive character. Seriously, you can give this to a three-year-old and they can probably make a Jessica Alba out of this character. Just be careful if the eye selections go too far and you have the Ahe Gao face. Unless you're going for that, of course. There was even an eye lacrimal down and depth. That's right, that little piece of skin in the corner of your eye, you can change that. And my god, it's such a small thing, makes such a large difference. I could curl her eyelashes, make them so long they were like fake extensions. Nose compression. That's right, add a little bit of that LA plastic surgery look. And check this out, eyelid bottom sag. You've gotta be kidding me, this is the most immersive of shit I've ever seen in character creation. Adding that made her face look just that much more lifelike. And if you're Indian, you can fucking make her Indian. You can even add a bit of Nubian to that. Dimples, guys, you can give her dimples. Make her look more like Astrid, which apparently just means you look more worried. And mother of 
God! Just like that, I'd created the most lifelike face I'd ever seen in my eight years of modding Skyrim. The lacrimals, the bags, and the dimples simply took it to a whole nother level. Is this even the same game anymore? You can't tell me this game came out in 2011. I mean, the vanilla model has so many sharp angles, it literally looks like that polygon Pokemon. This model is so smooth, you can't find a single sharp line. It comes with its own CBBE and UUNP bodies with physics, and because it's its own race, all the textures will be unique to you, so everybody else can look like absolute dog shit, and you'll look like a million bucks. What do you think, guys? Do we have an Alex Straza V4? Leave that down below. Next mod. Next up, we have a new village mod called Oakwood. Oakwood was a town from the Elder Scrolls Arena, making this town highly lore-friendly. Upon visiting the town, I noticed how quaint and- Oh, God! Oh! Someone help her! Oh, no. The kids are retarded. Somebody do some- Oh, fuck! Oh! Oh my god, we're all gonna die. Then I decided to break into Roald Ramirez's finest sundries. He didn't seem to mind, I invested in his business, and even put the moves on him. I have something for you, it's not much, but I saw it and thought of you. Here, take my ZZGS Player 2 and my Equinoctium book. Awesome. He also carried an abnormal amount of gold, and as I was exiting the shop, you can see someone drowning in the distance. Mm, but he didn't seem to mind. Swimming to shore, I noticed something so fierce towards my immersion, I was almost tempted to quit the game and uninstall the mod at the moment, but I trudged on. There the men mined and worshipped female fertility at the same time. The inn was called the Screaming Goblin. The image looked like a JPEG taken off a 1990s game, but who am I to judge? The structure was kind of odd. If you were assigned the second room, you had to go through the first room to even access it. I can't imagine some of the things I might stumble upon in that room, considering the mods I download. And unfortunately, not only are the children slow, but some of the guards defending the village as well. It wasn't the wolves that posed the highest threat, it was a tree in the middle of the road. Getting around it proved quite a challenge for the villagers. I disabled the tree, but then I realized that wasn't the only tree posing a problem. Besides that, there's an equipped mannequin that you normally don't see in vanilla towns, and a giant mud crab shell, which is very cool. Overall, the town serves to substantiate the Falkreath hold, which is currently just ruined Helgen and Falkreath, and provides a town for you to visit if you own Lakeview Manor, located just north of the village. And for our Lover's Lab mod, we have a Devious Followers. And this is a follower overhaul. And I don't mean being able to have multiple followers and decide on their wardrobe. I mean being enslaved by your follower and forced to wear devices that I cannot elaborate more on on this platform. To begin using this mod, simply go up to a follower and press click me. And just like that, your follower is no longer a companion, but more like a lone shark, except after your genitals. Unfortunately, that person is gonna have to be Trump. The mod for some reason did not show up for anybody else. For every waking hour your follower is with you, they expect to be paid. Even the hours spent fast traveling. There is now such thing as willpower and stamina. To recover your follower, you need to let them rest at an inn. Which costs 50 gold, and the sick son of a bitch also raised the price of renting rooms to 100. Perhaps the most terrifying part is that you can no longer dismiss your followers until you pay your debts, like a Lannister. Now this mod isn't trying to just make your character go broke. It provides more <clears throat> fun ways to pay your debts, like with deals, which actually could not be more immersive considering Trump wrote the book Art of the Deal. So it literally feels like I'm talking to Trump, except when he tells me that I have to wear a gag. That's a little bit weird, Mr. President. The probabilities are stacked against you. He is Trump after all. And chances are, you'll be forced to wear a tire that I certainly have never seen at Forever 21. At least the ones that I go to. And you can essentially strike as many deals as you want, adding more and more rules. My favorite deal is when he asked me to go around Skyrim putting my hand on people's shoulders and telling them that I'm a salute. Nothing screams high quality and immersive gameplay than walking around Skyrim shouting that I'm a salute. 10 out of 10 IGN. Fortunately, he'll provide the new attire. For example, the Iron Pair of Anguish. That's, that's certainly not a pair I've seen at the supermarket, that's for sure. Why is there a bell hanging down? Whoa! Whoa, where's that going? If you want to take off any of your new attire, there's a gambling game for that as well. I roll a dice and I can get zero restraint keys Zero chastity keys, zero piercing tools for 138 gold. Except, psych, 
I'm not stupid. I can then re-roll and get some keys for a better price. Of course, there's some repercussions if you keep rolling that I cannot disclose on this platform. At some point, you'll be so in debt that you become a slave, forcing you to wear different outfits only viewable on my Patreon, and he'll also offer you one additional deal. He'll free you if you drink a weird potion. Starting a quest, I drank that weird potion, it tasted of urgh, and bad milk, and double rectangle laughed as I tried to swallow and keep it down, at least now a chance to be free. What happens next is so wrong that the concept alone will probably age restrict this video and ban me from YouTube forever. Well, I mean, basically what happens is you need a uncensored version and the rest of this mod on Patreon. Let me know down below what other mods you want to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Looking for some cheap games? Check out G2A.com and use the code MXR to get 3% cash back. Link down below.